Hi, this is Brad, and in this next video we're going to see how to import a static mesh wall with doorways into our level, and it'll have collision with it from the previous video, and uh, you should be able to walk through it that way. Alright, so let's take a look. Uh, I need some space here. I actually created a third person template, as you can see there. I just opened a, started a new project, added a third person template. That way you'd be able to see the character walk through the doorways. I thought that was important. Okay, so now what I've done is I've uh, created the uh, created the model previously, got the collisions with it, and uh, let's go find them. So now what I'd like to do is I have um, I've brought them into my 3ds Max folder, and which is in Documents, 3ds Max, Export, and uh, we should find it right in here. It should be uh, Wall with Doorways .fbx. There it is, right there. So I'll take this now and I'm going to click it and drag it right into my level here. And you can see underneath there the import box comes open, everything looks fine, and I'll just say import all. Notice it has uh, auto generate collision on it, so that's fine, I'll say import all. And there it is, there's my wall with doorways and uh, static mesh, we can see the statistics here for it, how many triangles, verts, and all that stuff. It's got four uh, collision prims uh, that you can see there. And let's take it and bring it in. So I'm going to click it and drag it and just drop it right in the scene right there. And uh, you can see all the details over here for it. Uh, here's the static mesh that it actually is. If we scroll down a little bit uh, under collision, let's see, let's pull that over. And you can see where it says block all. So the walls are going to block everything and I should be able to walk through the doorways here. So let's try it. I'm going to right click and just simply play from here. Brings up my little character. Ooh, hopefully he's, uh, it's big enough to where he can go through. Look at that. Came right through. And if I try to block, 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 and he scoots through the door there. So my doors were just big enough. So this is a pretty large character and gets right through. And uh, because I made my um, collisions the way I did, they're fairly accurate collisions. So I'm just going to bring them right there and you can see he'll a little over to the side right there. So bring him over, turn around, and there's there it is. So And even if he jumps, he's blocked because I even did one up at the top there. Let's bring him back. All right, that looks good. So that was pretty easy to um, make a model and bring it in here to um, bring it in here into UE4. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Oh, you know what? One other thing here that I'm noticing, escape to get out of this, is um, look at the checkerboards here. How they're uh, really squished up up here on top, and they're not squished down here. They're a little bit stretched out. So uh, so the UVW map is kind of messed up. Let's uh, see this if we go to starter content and let's throw a material on that. So like these bricks right here, if I just take the bricks and throw them on the surface there, yeah, that doesn't look good at all. It's kind of stretched out here and it's uh, kind of compressed right up here. Let's go into 3ds Max and fix that. So I'll go back into 3ds Max and uh, make sure that you have your main model selected. Wall with doorways is selected there. And um, I'm going to go into modify and I forgot that the when I move these vertices right there to get the shape of the doors that it kind of messes with my UVW map. So you can, a couple things you can do. You can either actually go ahead and unwrap this which uh, doesn't take too long. It's just simply a, a wall with doorways. Or I can go ahead, if I just want to use a regular brick texture on it, I'm just going to throw a UVW map on it in 3ds Max. So I'll go back into the modifier list and scroll all the way down to where it says right underneath unwrap UVW, there is a UVW map there. I'll just take that and uh, let's make it a box map. And just to be sure it fits, notice it's got just a little bit extra there. Down here there's this fit button. I'm going to click fit and then, uh, well, the numbers are still there for whatever reason. But now, my UVW map fits on there perfectly. So all I have to do is select everything once again, make sure it says five objects, five objects. We'll re-export it. So export, selected. 
We'll call it the same thing, except just so we can compare the two, this one we'll call uh, doorways. And uh, since I had to put a UVW on it, we'll call it UVW. How about that? And save. And all my options here should stay the same, so I'll just click OK. All right, let's go back into Unreal. Let's throw that uh, model. Let's go back into where the other one is, wall doors. I probably should have made a folder in here and copied it in. In fact, I still can. Folder, new folder. And I'll just call this, uh, I like to use my initials, BJS Assets. There it is. And I'll take that. I think I can just drag it and copy it. Let's move it there. There it is. Double click that. All right. <clears throat> now let's get our model. Uh, wall with doorways UVW. Drag that right into our assets folder. Come back here. We're just going to leave everything the same here. Import all. And there it is. Now let's compare the two. So let me back out here just a little bit. Let's pull this one over. And let's, uh, here's our new one with the UVW map on it. Bring that in just right next to each other. Should work the same way. In fact, let's, uh, I could probably even line them up right there. Yeah, looks good for now. But anyway, I'd like to go ahead and take a material. And that same brick material, just so we can compare how it looks on the one with the messed up UVWs and uh, the new one. Oh, and look at the... Here you go. You can already tell how the checkerboard is now uniform on here. Let's just take this and grab it. That's hopeful. And there they are. So now it's more uniform. And I can take those and actually um, scale them if I want. If the bricks are just way too large, which they look like here, I can go ahead and scale those uh, and change them around. So anyway, let's go ahead and right click. Play from here. And let's bonk into the wall first hit the wall and kinda crawl 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 and right through the doorway same thing here crawl crawl whoops crawl 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 and through the doorway so whoops, looks good there we go alright and that's how to make a wall with doorways in it and uh, have some collision in it and still preserve UVWs on it so hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something and uh, thanks for watching